So everyone, guys, got a very interesting video here. As we look at the inner workings, some things in this amazing swing from Xander Schaffler in German, I think you pronounce it Schäufler. And uh, wow, this guy can hit it both ways, really rips it and a gold medalist, fourth in the world now, great putter and um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful ball striker. And we'll show you a couple of similarities, a couple of really interesting things uh, coming up with Colin Morikawa and also just some of the inner workings of this amazing action. The swing has so much time to it at the top, but uh, he's a lot faster than you think. He's uh, hits it a long, long way and rips it like a guy just hitting it. Distance control is, is absolutely frightening and um, yeah, hitting a lot of greens. In regulation, great to see, and he's a very nice guy. Now, guys, right, let's get in there and have a look. Now, if you've seen some of our other videos, we're looking at the averages of movement, and what we're doing is it's just using evidence-based material, getting an idea of where great ball strikers are, and really we're seeing a lot of uh, similarities. And the closer you get to some of these major moves, yes, the better that you will hit the golf ball. Let's have a look, however, at this move in this swing here. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of movement down here, all right? And we're seeing that by the so many great players movement down. We're looking around three inches of on average of movement downwards. Uh, this helps players grip the ground. Look at the width in this takeaway. Look at that right arm. Extremely flexible to be able to maintain all his, look at that left arm. What a golf swing that is. Heads move down. And yeah, guys, they're hitting it with a bent right arm at impact. Some of the really good advantages if you can get some of this movement in your swing are moving downwards and no it's not a mistake it helps you hang on to your angle so you don't throw the club away so a great pivot when we get up to the top we're seeing you know around an 83 84 angle here we're going to be seeing a similar uh, angle up the back here 83 84 good geometry number something i look a lot at we're going to see the first movement with this really wide swing we're going to see the first one look at this lateral shift a massive lateral movement now we know we've spoken about this before and we know we've got around four to six inches, 10 to 15 centimeters on average of lateral movement that lead hip. Hips are gonna be opening up around 30 to 50 degrees. And now look at those knees leading in. Now he doesn't have at this stage a whole lot of angle, but he's able to hold onto it and brings it right down when that hands, you know, underneath the chin here. We're gonna be seeing here this angle you know, zero degrees we're seeing, we're still seeing a really good angle and obviously he has, you know, a tremendous amount of sharpening. Now, one of the things, people, that I've been showing uh, a lot of golfers and on YouTube and on worldclassgolf.com recently is this finish line and getting your kinematic sequence, getting the knees to work, the knees and the hips, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, but getting that movement, see how that knee hits the finish line before the hands. You can do this with your V1 Golf app, getting in there and having a look at that and look at the angle on this look at the shaft there have a look at the shaft lean not quite on the ball but have a look at the shaft lean there on this one as we're drawing a line up here 71 degrees probably had around 15 degrees on that right leg right down in the adam scott area 58 degrees on that right leg really getting a lot of lateral shift and through the ball and through here look at how far that head's gone down now how many times we see that lateral shift shaft lean and head down what a golf swing this is and through here we just get a, some of these lines out of the way watch this compression through the golf ball here look at that i mean that's just world class this is absolutely ripping it what a goal swing and this guy's you're going to see more of this guy he's just hitting it so good let's have a look from the back view before we take a peek at some amazing things here comparing it to colin mori cow look at this here this is really interesting now there's a touch of movement so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to pop that slightly under the head i've tested this video thanks to michael field i sorry i forgot to mention you michael absolutely great to see you back out there and a couple of great camera angles and some fantastic videos here well done that club head people as we've spoken about in many videos looking at the hallmarks of great ball striking your wrist alignments getting the all lined up look at this over towards one o'clock and uh, this movement with the head moving downwards we're going to be seeing the shoulder plane at the top we're going to be seeing that around the 40 degree area 39 to 45 degrees is your tour average here and you're going to be plussing about 14 or 15 degrees on that through the ball but watch this lead wrist as it bows and he's what a golf swing he's got the luxury to actually steepen this plane onto the golf ball as his plane comes down goes through the forearm and comes in like i've shown you on so many videos here behind the hands people have a look at that club head control left wrist bowed down he's got a weak grip so he's able to do that 
Something that I forgot to mention to you at the start of the video. It's got like a one knuckle grip, so by bowing it, he's still got the club in a very neutral position and shaving down the original shaft plane and head's gone down and what a goal swing. Through the golf ball, people, when we're looking up, getting around parallel, arms parallel to the ground here, we get a check down on these numbers. Around 55 degrees here, what we're seeing, left shoulder up over the head. How many times do we see that? What a wonderful action and ball strike. And when you're looking at these two players here, obviously we've seen Colin Morikawa, you know, we, we see this head position here, uh, moving down these great players here. Let's just have a look at this. Some say the best iron player in the world. And you'll see that head moving down. You see the shoulders here, perhaps just a little bit steeper around 45 and then head moving further down so these players here i'll just show you something coming up in the back view even though they've got bowed wrists because of their weak grips look at that head how far that's dropped because they've got these uh you know weaker type of grips here what have we got there about 40. it's amazing isn't it that they're getting themselves in similar positions what are your shoulder numbers people if you want to know, you can have a look, jump on craighandsandgolf.com or have a look at your online lessons there. I'm teaching people from all around the world. Have a look at worldclassgolf.com where we look at swing geometry. We've got so many videos on that platform. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Let's get in there and have a look now at these two swings from the back view. This is really is amazing when you're looking at the similarities of these positions. Now they both have bowed wrists at the top, but really those club faces aren't in strong positions at all. And uh, so every time you see a bowed wrist, sometimes it's because they have to. They're actually quite neutral positions. Look at that, 33 degrees. They're not very strong club face positions. Is that the same? Oh my God. Now, when you're having a look, the shoulder planes are both around the 32, 33 degree area, but you're seeing these moves come down. Watch this right foot from both players, almost identical. They're feeling the same things. They're doing the same things. Bent right arm because they've dropped their head. The hips have turned a mile. And then through the golf ball, you've got the same shoulder planes happening just about through here. And uh, a few degrees more, but wow. These golf swings, very, very similar. Head on the side, neck tilt through the ball. And the modern day golf swings, guys, that's it. If you could do that, wouldn't it be nice? But uh, yeah, it it's really is uh, amazing looking at uh, the quality of the ball striking for some of these guys here. Looking at the averages of movement, the closer you get, the better you hit. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of this uh, young man. And uh, he's, a, it's a, he's a great guy and it's great to see him uh, win a gold medal. And uh, right, guys, we'll see you next time.